When you think of some of the world's most dramatic buildings, they most likely involve large expanses of glass. Before these masterpieces can be created, the glass may need to be heat treated for durability and safety reasons. The type of processing required, either heat strengthening or tempering, depends on the glass's specific application. To help you understand the differences between these two processes, we're going to cover the definitions of heat strengthened and tempered glass, talk about how glass is heat treated, and the differences in break patterns between the two. We'll start with the similarities between the two. Both heat strengthened and tempered glass are produced using the same processing equipment. The other similarity is that the glass is heated to approximately 1200 degrees Fahrenheit, then force cooled to create surface and edge compression in the glass. Now we'll move on to what distinguishes the two. With tempered glass, the cooling process is accelerated to create higher surface and edge compression in the glass. For tempered glass, the requirement, based on ASTM C1048, is a minimum surface compression of 10,000 PSI and an edge compression of at least 9,700 PSI. It is the air quench temperature, volume, and other variables that create this surface compression and make the glass up to four to five times stronger than annealed or untreated glass. As a result, tempered glass is safer and less likely to experience a thermal break. With heat-strengthened glass, the cooling process is slower, which means the compression strength is lower. For heat-strengthened glass, the requirement is a surface compression of 3,500 to 7,500 pounds per square inch, or PSI, with no requirement for edge compression. As a result, heat-strengthened glass is approximately twice as strong as annealed glass. If glass needs to be tempered or heat-strengthened, it moves to the tempering line directly after the washer. Some glass fabricators have added online electronic scanning equipment, like the equipment shown here, to inspect every light of heat-treated glass for flatness quality. Surface compression measurements are taken to ensure the heat-strengthened glass meets ASTM C1048 specifications. Another critical difference between heat-strengthened and tempered glass is their post-breakage characteristics. Safety glazings are typically specified to provide security or to keep occupants safe whenever there is a potential for broken glass to hurt people if it becomes a projectile as in a fire, explosion, tornado, or hurricane. With heat-strengthened glass, pieces of broken glass remain relatively large and tend to stay anchored into the glazing system until they're removed. Although heat-strengthened glass is not a safety glazing by building code, this breakage pattern prevents the glass from falling and injuring someone. On the other hand, tempered glass is designed to shatter into countless small, roughly cube-like pieces. It is this break pattern that qualifies tempered glass as a safety glazing material and meets the ANSI Z79.1 safety glazing material standard. However, because of this break pattern, tempered glass is much more likely to fall from the glazing system when it breaks. Therefore, it is essential for design professionals to consider this when selecting a safety glass. If it's important for the glass to stay anchored in the glazing system, you should consider another form of safety glass, such as laminated glass. Safety is a prime consideration when determining the type of heat treating process necessary for a project. Deciding whether to use heat strengthened or tempered glass depends on the specific application. For example, Heat-strengthened glass should be selected for applications that don't specifically require a safety glass product, and tempered glass should be used when required to meet the ANSI Z97.1 safety glazing material standard. To further understand the differences between tempered and heat-strengthened glass and learn why Vitro recommends tempered glass only when it is required by code or certain environmental conditions, watch our video on tempered glass on the Vitro Glass Education Center. For more information about heat treating or any other glass questions, visit vitroglazings.com or call 855-887-6457.